All right, so we're going to open up Microsoft Excel, and we are going to make a crossword puzzle today. I'm going to show you all how to make it look like the page if you were to print it out, and how to make the cells look like squares, and then just kind of some formatting things of how to make the puzzles. I'm going to go here to View, and I'm going to click Page Layout. And when I do that, it looks like a piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And so you can print it out and you know what it's going to look like. All right. And how I'm going to make these the squares is I'm going to push this button right here. And I'm going to right click on the column. I'm going to go down here to column width. And I'm going to change this to something that would be nice for a crossword puzzle. 0.3 inches. And I'm going to come here and do the exact same thing with the row. And I hope y'all know that a square is equal on all sides. All right, so now I have my squares. How to just do the crossword. I actually found out that you can just drag, like click and drag to pick a bunch of cells. All right, so now I'm gonna add the border. I'm gonna add the thick outside layer so that way it looks like a crossword puzzle. And now I'm going to write the number at the top left corner, just like you would see in a crossword puzzle. I'm gonna make this super small and I'm gonna put, let's say this is one. One way to the corner. There you go. And so now I have it in the proper corner and it looks like a crossword puzzle. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna click and drag and then do the same thing. I want all the borders and I want a thick outside border. And this is going to be one across. Click on the cell, put a one, make it the size that I want, put it in the space that I want. It's not the size that I want. And so there you go. That is how you can make a crossword puzzle. I'm gonna add a title to it in the header. This isn't necessarily what yours will look like, but I'm not making a crossword puzzle right now. And to write the answers, you're just gonna go here and go across, and then I'm gonna pick here, and I'm going to do something like that. All right, so now let us make a maze. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna unmerge everything, and then I'm gonna make everything back to the way it was. There you go, so now I'm back to how it was. Now, how to make a maze, I would start with what you want it to look like at first, what you want the path to be. All right, so here's the path that I want, and then I would come in here and add different colors of routes that can trick people and have your dead ends and just kind of build it from here. All right, and then after you do all that, you can come in and just kind of black out the areas that you don't want to use, just like you would, how you would do it in a maze. This isn't necessarily the best maze, but I'm just kind of showing you how to do it. And then I would make that go all the way to the top. Just something like that. Like I said, this isn't the best of mazes. I'm just kind of showing you how you can do it. But I hope this helps. And I hope that y'all can get some really good extra credit from this. Well, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day and I shall see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.